Okay, so here we go. We are going to set up the development environment. And to do that, we just click on JCraft here. And it will take us to the JCraft page. And uh, usually what we have to do is download the package that we want to install and then follow the default uh, directions to actually install it. So let's go ahead and click on download JCraft. Oh, but wait. Before we can actually use uh, JCraft, we have to have the JDK and JRE for Java. So let's do that first. So we click on this link here to go to Oracle to get the JDK and JRE. Okay, here we are. So we are just going to go ahead and download uh, the JDK and this will automatically include the GRE. So we click on download. Just waiting for it to start downloading. Should happen momentarily. Okay, here we are going to download Java. When you click download, it takes us to uh, the download page and we must accept the license, of course. There we go. And then, for my computer, what I want to download is the Windows 64 package because I'm using an IBM PC with uh, Windows 64, and I just click on it. Now you can see it started downloading, and It's going to take a little while to download. Uh, so basically, once we have the package downloaded, then all we have to do is follow the directions to install it. And I'm going to pause here until the package is downloaded and then continue with the installation. Okay, now that we have JDK uh, downloaded, uh, we'll simply follow the directions and install uh, the JDK. Here we go. Yes. We're going to accept the defaults and just say install. And there we go. It's going to take a few minutes to install. So I'm going to pause here and then come back when it's completed the installation. Okay, now we're going to follow the directions again to complete the installation. I don't like to install these uh, add-ons, so I just click them off. But you can choose to install them. Then I just continue to follow directions. Next. And as you can see, the installation has begun. Okay, now you see that we have successfully install Java and we close this. Okay, now that we have successfully installed JDK, now we can go back to JGrasp and download and install JGrasp. And as you can see, it's really quite simple. The process of downloading and installing is just a matter of following directions. Here we have to select the type of user, student, uh, instruction, I don't think we have to provide an email address um, or the name, and I don't want them to contact me. So basically, uh, look for my version of uh, the released JCrafts, and what I want is this JCraft, which has been released on November 24th uh, for Windows. So I'm going to click on this, and it's going to start downloading it. Here we go. 
I'm going to pause for a second here until um, this download is complete and then we'll continue with installation. Okay, the GeoCraft download is complete. Now I'm going to click on it. Yes. And here we go. And just follow the directions. Next. Yes, I agree. We keep it all defaults. Next. 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 Install. And finish. And voila. Our installation with the JGraphs development environment is complete. And we can come to our desktop and see. Okay, we click on JGraphs. And voila. Here we are in our JGraphs development environment. If you have reached this point successfully, you have been able to successfully set up your uh, development environment with JCRAS. And that's all there is to it. Thank you.